The Sony WF-C700N replaces the C500S Sony's budget alternative to the likes of the Link Buds S and the WF-1000XM4. It even has active noise cancelling now, which is encouraging given that most other brands out there already have ANC earbuds at similar price points or lower. But how does it compare to the flagship Sony's in terms of noise cancelling, sound, and call quality? Will I be satisfied? Well, to find out, we're gonna listen to some binaural sound samples. So I recommend wearing earbuds to hear all the details. And do subscribe and tap the bell button to stay notified of more videos about the C700. And now, before we get to the sound quality test, I need to get a few things off my chest. First, when compared to the premium Sony's, these will not blow you away in terms of specs, features, or even the design. Though they've made it a bit smaller than the C500's case, its case is also quite a bit bigger than the Link Buds S and the Mark IVs, and later on you'll see that there really is no reason why it should be this big. In terms of specs and features, it does have full headphones connect app support, which is great because the EQ settings are there and adaptive sound controlled for those of you who use this feature. But the C700Ns don't do high res streaming, so no high-res certification, and no LDAC codec support either. It's got the basic DSEE Upscaler 2, not DSEE Extreme, and they've got a total battery life of up to 15 hours with case, with 7.5 hours in the earbuds alone. Now, that's pretty good for the earbuds, to be honest, but it's weird that such a large case couldn't accommodate another battery cell for more juice. 15 hours in total is really a bit too short. And finally, it doesn't have wireless charging, no in-ear wear detection, so no auto pause play when you take the earbuds out, and it doesn't have speak to chat. So while the features and specs are price appropriate, for those of us who daily drive the Mark IVs and the Link Buds S, it really is quite bare bones. In terms of sound quality, it does sound quite bassy and its mids are full bodied. So if you like listening to vocals music, vocals are gonna sound quite rich and full, but compared to the Link Buds S or the WF-1000XM4, they do sound more mellow. Some might even say more dull in the upper vocals and treble range. As you can see in this frequency response chart, there's more emphasis on bass, but treble is also a bit more restrained than the others. Listen to the following sound samples and tell me in the comments which of these earbuds sound the best to you. That dip in treble means that when you're listening to string and wind instruments, there's going to be a lot less excitement in your music and airiness in the soundstage. So if you feel that the Link Buds S and Mark IVs sound too crisp and sizzly for your liking, you might actually prefer the 700 amps tuning. But I personally prefer the extra crispness, bite, and attack of the Link Buds S and Mark IVs. And by the way guys, if you want to compare the 700N's sound quality to other earbuds, visit loudandwireless.com's sound samples page, link in the description. Now let's compare their call quality using some really loud cafe style background noise and some wind noise coming from this fan. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Sony WF-C700N earbuds.
I have now made a phone call in a quiet place using the Sony WF-1000XM4. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Sony LinkBuds S. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Sony WF-C700M earbuds. The quick round box jumps over the lazy dog. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Sony WF-1000XM4 running firmware 2.0.0. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Sony LinkBuds S. Well, in terms of call quality in quiet places, the C700N's mic pickup was quite clean. But in more challenging, noisy conditions, it was not good at all. Just like the Mark IVs, it wasn't able to cut the noise as well as the Link Buds S, which I feel has right now one of the best call qualities in the market. In terms of active noise cancelling, I have to say that these are quite disappointing, to be honest. Now, coming from the Link Buds S and the XM4s, I thought It'll be at least close enough in terms of cancelling low frequency noises. But its noise cancelling was barely noticeable, as you can hear in the following sound samples, which are recorded using the same background noise that I used for the call quality test. It seems that this is because the 700Ns only have the bare bones tech required for basic noise cancelling, what they're calling noise sensor technology compared to the integrated V1 processor of the LinkBuds S. It has also got a single mic on each earbud, while the others have two, one on the inside of the earbuds and one outside. Now, this could explain why its transparency also doesn't sound as clear as the others. There's still something like a muffling effect on pass-through, although it is quite usable for having quick conversations with people around you. Oh, by the way guys, if you want to compare these earbuds' call quality and active noise cancelling to other earbuds, do become a member for $1 per month or more. This gives you full access to my personal comparison tool, which you can use to compare earbuds A to B at your own time and at your own pace. Many people have joined up because they know that this is going to save them so much time being able to just cut through all the marketing and compare these earbuds remotely. So become a member like them, click on the link below to find out more. To conclude, as someone who daily drives the LinkBuds S, which isn't that far off from the C700Ns in terms of price, I'm not impressed by the C700Ns at all, be it in terms of its sound, performance, or features. The only benefit that this has over the other Sonys is the button controls. In winter, it can be easier to control these earbuds with gloves, but Apart from that, at this price, it really isn't as attractive as the LinkBuds S, let alone the Mark IVs, which at any given time in the year could be going on a discount on Amazon. In my opinion, this needs to be much cheaper. Also, Sony says the C700Ns have multi-point pairing like the LinkBuds S and the Mark IVs, which lets you connect the earbuds to up to two devices at once. But I haven't been able to get it to work at all, so what the hell, right? Is this a feature that will be added on later? Actually, yes, Sony says that in summer 2023, a multi-point pairing update will come to the C700N. My bad, back to the video. Anyway, it's still quite early 
in the C700 Ants product cycle, so we may very well see software updates along the way that could improve its performance, add new features, but as of this recording, I would rather save up just a tiny bit more and go for the LinkBuds S. You might have a different opinion about it, and if so, let me know in the comments. So that's my take. Oh, and by the way, if you want to purchase any of these earbuds on Amazon, I've got the links to them in the description box. Thanks for watching, and if you don't want to miss out on more reviews from this channel, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified. Also, smash like and share to refill my dwindling HP. I'm also on Discord, so if you have Discord, come and join the chat. Link is in the description. Now guys, if you want to watch my latest take on the LinkBuds S, which is right after it got its multi-point update, watch this video, or if you're a legend and you want to do me a solid, do watch another video from this channel.